Welcome to another edition of Behind Closed Doors. My name is Aaron Moore with You Got A Guy Cars and Homes and Equity Colorado Real Estate. Today we're going to talk about how taxes and an HOA can affect your offer and, and your monthly payment. Some of the things to keep in mind as a, as a realtor when I'm out looking for properties with my clients is the taxes vary greatly from city to city and county to county. And, you know, I'm talking about property taxes. So, for example, if you're in unincorporated Jefferson County, you might look at a $400,000 house and the property taxes are too bad. Are bad, you know, places like that. Littleton. And um, you might find another part of Littleton where it might be more. But you go all the way to Reunion and you find a $400,000 house, although I don't think they're going to be for four hundred, but um, those same taxes are going to be double um, because they... They're structured differently, you know. Sterling Ranch out in uh, outside of Highlands Ranch, you know, taxes are you know ten grand on some of those properties. Whereas in Highlands Ranch, that same dollar amount home might be six thousand. So that's a big difference. And you know, if you're looking at a four thousand dollar difference in taxes annually, that's an extra three hundred and sixty dollars a month, four hundred dollars a month. That's you are not going to be able to qualify for all of a sudden if you were pushing it already you know so sometimes people don't look at that and they get excited and they make that offer and then the lender's like no 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 no, we can't we can't do that you know hoas as well so say you got everything else in line and you decide you're going to go with a home that's in an hoa and you're not thinking about that and your realtor forgets so you've got the taxes in mind. I know I got to keep taxes under this much to keep my approval, but then you got a three hundred dollar HOA, four hundred dollar HOA. That could, you know, if you're at fifty percent or forty nine point eight percent for your qualification, and an HOA puts you at fifty point six percent, that means you're declined uh, on a conventional loan. So you've got to go back to the drawing board and figure out a different way to go if you want that property, or you have to switch properties. So something to keep in mind, make sure you know your numbers, make sure your realtor helps you with that. If you need a realtor, obviously I can help. Uh, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching.